Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tones with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is October 8th, 2023. This is episode 583, and today we're going to look at Draculina, Blood Simple, number three in this arc. And on the cover here, we have, of course, one of the versions of Draculina. It is a multiverse which I'm not crazy about, um, but um, it's well written. So uh, this is, like I said, this is issue number three. It comes out from Dynamite. It's Christopher Priest writing, who writes excellent. He actually knows how to use humor in a comic, and uh, he's got very complex storytelling. So it's not for a kid. It's 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 going to be for someone that's a little bit more adult. It's rated teen plus on this. Plus, there's plenty of cleavage to go around for the rest of us. So, uh, yeah, it's it's entertaining enough, but it is complex. It's a hard-to-follow story. Like most of what I've read of Christopher Priest, it is very complex. And most of it because of the... Not only does he like uh, this multiverse that he's got all these Draculinas and Vampirillas running around in, but he also likes to... To jump from place to place back and forth in time and it gets a little confusing at times so let's go take a quick look to see who worked on this we have uh, Christopher Priest is the writer men as mentioned the artist is Michael St. Maria the colorist is even Nunez, Nunez Taylor Esp Esposito is the letterer the editor is Matt Idelson and there's a special thanks to Willie Sherbert or Schubert, Sherbert or Schubert. There you go. As always, the art in this is pretty doggone good. Very eerie, very, uh, very, uh, what's it, atmospheric. Thank you. So we start off and we have a black version of Vampirella here talking to, I, I'm so, it's very confusing to me. Um, I've, I don't, she's being called Vampirella. Maybe she, her name, she's Vict, Victory. I don't know. I, I'm i thinking I might have skipped the second issue. I know I did the first in this arc, but um, I went ahead and read this anyway. I was a little lost. And they are on the search for a mobster that has been possessed by a demon. And mostly what takes place here is it's it's vampires from another planet, plus demons, plus angels, plus a whole bunch of mobsters and monsters and evil humans and things like that that are in this. Now, we also have Vampirella's younger version that is being hunted by Vampirella herself. Not Vamp, sorry, Draculina's younger version, version of herself named Kate, or Katie, and being hunted by... Draculina as well. So it starts out in Beverly Hills. Um, then we have this shot where at a car wash and there's this angel getting washed for some reason. I'm not sure. It's, they say the, they call it the molting, which I don't know what a car wash has to do with the molting. He comes out and he's immediately attacked by a demon. So the name of this angel is Sam. The name of this demon is Levi. They seem to know each other. And I guess angels in this are very difficult to kill. Um, so he's able to withstand it for a while. Then we have an ad for Victory. That's why I think this other woman may be Victory. But they don't really call her Victory in this. So I'm thinking I do see her name as Draculina. So it's a little, little confusing. Um, this is written by David F. Walker. So Christopher Priest has no part of this story. I don't know if this is good or bad. But like always, Dynamite has a number of alternate covers we get back to the story in this they're strangling the angel here levi strangling sam and he he means to kill him um to pay the price is a, a revenge act here and then we flip back to um which i think is draculina in a different version they just seem like they flip-flop around in this a lot. Um, and, I'm, and I believe maybe this is Draculina as well. Maybe they've teamed up. I've just missed out. It's just this big multiverse of Draculinas come together 
with Vampirella in there too. So Katie is holding off this other Dracolina that wants to bite and kill Vampirella. And they're sis they originally were sisters, but this Vampirella or this Draculina is a little bit different. Apparently she has a death wish. She thinks by killing Katie that will kill her as well. Um, so we get these nice shots here. Katie trying to escape. Get the credits again there. Just some really nice perspective on these things. She's got this slingshot, I guess, that can shoot these uh, little dangerous pellets that can take out Draculina. In the meantime, we flip back to the car wash, and just as the angel looks like maybe he will succumb to Levi's death grip, he is bitten from behind by Drago, who is some kind of vampire monster. Not as good looking as Draculina or Vampirella, but uh, maybe he's a different species of vampire. And then he fills him full of some kind of um, element. I'm not quite sure. It seems to glow. And so he's suffering down, and they're gonna Draco's gonna take him in while Levi flies off. And Drago and Levi, or Drago and Sam, the angel, are are not friends. However, for some reason, they are working together on this. Um, and then we have a portal open up for which the two, I believe they're both Dracolinas. I am not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's very, very complex, very confusing. Like I said, I think I missed issue two. So this showed up in my inbox. Um, I'd have to go check to see if I did a review on issue two. So, yeah, I mean, just really interesting art all the way through. Katie gets attacked by a bunch of bats while she's trying to escape. And then we get this nice little ad. Let's get in there again. Nicely drawn. She's actually not naked, so um, hopefully YouTube will not. She's got like she's got a, a one one piece suit on, as you can see. Okay, and then there's some variant covers too for this Betty page. I can't vouch for the story on that one. Um, I as I do enjoy these Vampirella or D Draculina stories. Um, this one I think I just got a little off. The storyline, so I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on in this. I just know that Dracolina is trying to kill Katie in order to kill her future self somehow. Um, so she's got some kind of death wish for herself. Now, the other story that I have been reading from Dynamite is Purgatory, and I have been liking that one. That one's more straightforward, more uh, chronologically intact, where this one kind of bounces back and forth through other dimensions, through other parallels, as you can see. They've kind of uh, had this standoff at the end. And then Vampirella gets the upper hand on Dracolina here, and we get some really nice art. Art for art's sake. I'm calling it art. It sure looks good. And they have a kind of a cat fight with Vampirella, obviously having the uh, upper hand here. And Katie not knowing what to do. He's about to shoot Dracolina. And, and uh, Vampirella says, don't. And this is where she explains that she's trying to kill you to kill her future self. But she's dying all of a sudden, so Katie's going to light the magical candle that helps him switch back and forth and bring her back to life. And as you can see, there's the Katie's pet rat. I think it's named Shakespeare, but I'm not 100% sure. I believe that's what it's called. And... Uh, well, the other two Dracolinas are trying to track down what is going on, and they realize they are too late. As they find some more, um, well, Dracolina and then Vamp Vampirella in this weird suspended state. So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I know that Christopher Priest has a method to his madness, and... It says the next issue is Into the Vampirverse, Reality Bites. I do have, I think, two more issues I have not read of this coming up, so hopefully it'll straighten things out in the future. But it is a recommend, at least. So, oh, we got to go through all the covers. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Um, bear with me. Let me get to them. Okay, we got our little newsletter here. Got Dracoline, the next issue. Then we have Starfinder. I don't know anything about this. We're Angels of the Drift. Looks like a futuristic dystopian woman hero. And then we have more women heroes with Vampirilla versus the Superpowers. Not quite sure what that's available. That came out in June, so we're way behind. Um, then uh, there's an Elvira in Monsterland. And Lady Hell. I did review Lady Hell in one of these, and I didn't really care for it. I don't know if it has gotten better or not. That's, this is a June issue, so I'm way behind. The final issue of Vampirella Strikes is coming out in July, so that was a while ago. Now we'll get a chance to take a look at the cover gallery. We'll zoom in here. And pause at any time if you wish to take a longer gander at this or get some of the information off there. So we did get cover A on here. I try to get cover A, um, even if I like one of the variant covers better. I don't know why. I'm not really a collector. I do sell these back. There we go. There's a more. We're going to get into some exclusives here. Giuseppe. Jay Ferguson. And then we get the Dynamite Ad. Boom. And another Dynamite Ad. And that's it. So thank you st st for stopping in and bumbling here. I haven't done these in a while. Um, and checking out this review of Draculina number three, The Blood Simple Arc. As always, please like, please subscribe if you haven't, and please leave comments if you wish. We'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.